Faith brought me here, it's time to cut the rope and fly to a dream far across the sea. In your own experiments, if you can't hear both vocal lines, be sure to double check that you have Play Visible selected from the drop down in the upper right hand corner of the editor window. Now this sounds pretty good, but I like to separate the background vocals from the main vocal by modifying their modulation, as we don't want our background vocals to sound identical to the main vocal line. Select all the notes on the track by pressing Ctrl A, and then right click and hold your mouse button in the editor window. A drop down menu will appear, and I'm going to choose Pitch Modulation. You will notice that our waveform now has some squiggly lines running all through them. This is a representation of the modulation in our notes. I am only going to remove a small amount of modulation as removing too much would create a robotic sounding vocal and I really want a natural sounding vocal. To remove the modulation, hover the mouse over the middle of a note and click and hold the left mouse button while dragging the mouse downward. This will remove modulation. If I drag the mouse upward, I would increase the modulation. Also, since I have duplicated the main vocal line instead of having the vocalist sing a new vocal line at a higher pitch, some notes may inherently not sound natural. Therefore, I am going to add some panning and turn down the volume a bit to place them off center and further back in space in relation to the main vocal line. Open up the mixer window by selecting Mixer from the window menu or by pressing Ctrl Shift M. Here on the mixer window, you will see our main vocal line named Main Vox 2 and the duplicate track named Track 2. However, Track 2 is not a very good name for this track, so we can rename it by clicking in the Track 2 window and typing in a new name. I'm going to rename this track High Harmony. I also like to premix vocals here so I can get a feel for how the finished product will sound. So as previously mentioned, I'm going to adjust the panning and the volume of the High Harmony track. Grab the pan knob and turn it to about 50% left. Then grab the volume slider and bring it down to about minus 3.2 dB or so. If we listen now, you can hear the high harmony has been panned left and is lower in volume than the main it vocal line. Me here, it's time to cut the rope and fly to a dream far across the Now sea. I'm ready to create the mid harmony. However, I need to verify that I have the select tool selected and not the modulation tool, which I can switch back to either by holding the right mouse button and selecting the select arrow tool from the pop-up menu or by choosing the select arrow from the upper left hand corner of the editor window. I need to once again duplicate the main vocal track and I have several ways to get back to the main vocal line as I am still currently on the high harmony track. You will notice that in the editor window, the high harmony track waveform notes are bright red in color, while the main vocal line notes are a pale yellow in the background. If I click on one of the pale yellow notes, this will switch me to the main vocal line track. With the select arrow tool selected, I can either use Ctrl A or drag a marquee around all my notes to select the notes on the main track. Hovering over the middle of the first note, I'm going to drag my notes down to the F sharp below the B as this will be a good starting point for creating the mid harmony. Remember once again to hold down the Alt and Shift keys while dragging to make a copy of the track. Now that my mid harmony has been copied to track 3, once again I'm going to move the notes to create a harmony that sounds pleasing. I am also going to remove some modulation by using the same techniques as before. Select all the notes. Choose Pitch Modulation from the right mouse click drop down menu and finally bring down the modulation a little bit. I'm also going to apply some panning and volume reduction to place this track to the right of the main vocal. However, as this vocal is only slightly lower in pitch than the main vocal, I'm going to use less panning and less volume reduction. I'll start off with a setting of 35% right and minus 2.3 dB. Also, while I'm here, I will rename this track Mid Harmony. Now, I'm going to create one more low harmony that has the same basic note pattern as the high harmony for balance. And this time, I'm going to use the drop down menu in the upper right hand corner of the screen to select the main vocal track. Select all, and while holding the alt and shift keys, I'm going to drag down to the low B note. This will copy the main vocal down to track 4. Since I'm creating this low harmony line from a vocal that was sung at least an octave higher, I really need to be careful about making it not sound too robotic or too unnatural. So using the aforementioned techniques, and since I already have the notes selected, now is a good time to adjust the pitch modulation. 
However, in this instance, I actually want the vocal line to be pretty flat, as this is just going to be a supporting harmony just to add some extra thickness to the overall sound, so I'm going to take the pitch modulation way down. Once again, I'm going to move the notes to create a harmony that is similar to the high harmony vocal line in the fact that it will not have very much movement. Then, I will follow up by panning this track 50% right and dropping the volume to minus 3.2 dB or so. This I really want the main vocal line to really stand out and I want the rest of the tracks just to basically add support and some color, I'm going to finish off by going back to the mixer window and lowering the volume of the harmony tracks and then boosting the volume of the main vocal track so that the main line really stands out. Now let's listen to the finished piece. Faith brought me here, it's time to cut the rope and fly to a dream far across the sea. You are now ready to export this to your DAW for further processing. You can save this file as a stereo mix, or you can export the tracks individually from Melodyne. And remember, all of this was created from one main vocal line. The vocalist was never required to come in and sing multiple harmonies. Oh, from me, this night. 